Now this small device here can be used to look at forces in equilibrium. So we've got a small table which has a protractor printed out and stuck on top of it. We then have three pulleys and over this we have three bits of string which are attached to this loop in the centre. So if I put the centre um, of this wooden bit that sticks up through the loop, um, we can then hang the bits of string over the pulleys. Now what we're going to do is we're going to apply a force to each of these. We're going to do that just using these small masses. So this one over here, um, we've got a 10 gram mass hanger plus five 10 gram masses. So this one here has a mass of 60 grams. And if we know the mass, we can work out the weight in Newtons. So we've got a value of 60 grams over there. I'm going to put uh, 80 grams on this one. And then finally, I've just got 100 grams, but you could use any values if you're to make one of these or use one yourself. Now we can see at the moment that this isn't central. So what we can do is we can actually move these around just by loosening uh, the pulley there. And I'm just going to adjust this until the central ring isn't touching the wooden part in the centre. So with a bit of fiddling, I've now got this sorted out. I'm just going to put a quick sketch down here. So we've got uh, 80 grams down here. To the right, we have 60. And over here, we have 100. So what I'm going to do is put my head directly above it so I can look down. And this is going to reduce any parallax error. So I'm just going to get my head in the right position. And I reckon, looking at this, we've got an angle of 94 degrees between these two parts and between this part and this part, to me that looks like 139 degrees. So what I can now do is uh, we've got the, the real experiment over here. I'm just gonna put that to one side and this is my raw data. So in order to actually maybe just check that this should be in equilibrium if the theory matches the practical, what I'm going to do is I'm going to think about drawing each of these end to end, because effectively we have vectors. Now the arrow is going to be proportional to the size of the force. We can think about the direction between them. And what we're going to do then is join all of these up end to end. Now the force is equal to the weight, which equals mass times the gravitational field strength. For this one over here, I'm just going to use the value of 10 to say that we've basically got a downwards force, which is equal to 0.8 newtons. We've got a force of 0.6 newtons uh, acting to the right and to the top left, we've got a force equal to 1.0 newtons. So they're the forces. Now what I'm gonna do is say that 0.1 newton is equal to one centimeter when it comes to drawing my diagram. So using a ruler and a pencil, I'm gonna start with my downwards force of eight. So again, the scale that you choose depends upon the size of the forces. So that is the downwards force. I'm just gonna label it over here. So that's 0.8 newtons. Now the force to the right is going to be six centimeters long and there's an angle here equal to 94 degrees. So that means if I use my protractor effectively from this angle down here up to here should be 94 degrees. So going the other way that should be equal to 86. A dot there and I'm going to draw this along. Uh, which is going to go along six centimetres. Now there's going to be an angle of 127 degrees between this line and this line. So that's going to be the same as this angle in here. So the angle in here between this line and the line that comes up, which is going to be 10 centimetres long, is equal to 180 minus 127, which is 53. So again, um, this is where it just takes a little bit of time to work it out in your head. So I'm going to measure the angle of 53 like this. Okay, and I'm going to draw in a line which is 10 centimetres long. Okay, so that goes to there. So this one over here is my 1.0 Newton force. Now what we have is a triangle that almost gets back to the starting point. Because when you've got three vectors, if you were to kind of join them end to end, they should end up at the start point. And to be honest, I think going from here to here is quite close, bearing in mind there's going to be quite a lot of uncertainty. 
both in actually making sure that it is in equilibrium. Uh, maybe there might be some uncertainty in the measurements of the mass. We're just assuming, assuming that they're all 10 grams. And also there's going to be a really big uncertainty in measuring the angle. And that's because with this device over here, there's quite a height between the measured um, piece of string and the actual protractor. But again, within one or two degrees, I think we've got a relatively straightforward result. So this just shows if you've got three forces in equilibrium, we can draw them maybe um, a bit like a free body diagram where you have all the forces acting from one point, but we can take these same forces, we can join them end to end, and if the object is in equilibrium, then we're gonna have a closed triangle of forces.